Before I leave you, one more thing I wanted to share with you. I've had an opportunity to do a lot on this trip, and of course it gets cold really fast up in the mountains as the sun starts to set. One of those is binoculars. While I'm imaging, I really like to observe with binoculars. And I have these, uh, I've had these uh, Fuji 7x50s for, since uh, I believe the 03 Winter Star Party, and they have served me well. These are great binoculars. But the last time I was up here in the mountains, um, I had them out and I got back and was reading some posts and some, I don't know how I got on one of these topics, but it was just about binocular observing. And so sure enough, I started to read about the Canon image stabilized. I think it was through the astrophysics users, user group, or maybe the Novak, Northern Virginia group. And I started digging into it a little bit more and I thought, if you've looked at the prices, yes, they are a little crazy. But to really use my 7x50 Fujis, oftentimes I have to pack a tripod and a parallelogram mount. When I'm imaging now with two setups, I do not want to bring another setup for visual. So that's what really intrigued me about the Canon 15 by 50 image stabilized binoculars. Why 15 X? I read a lot of posts. I have the seven by fifties. If I need to use something of that power, it's a little bit wider field of view, but the 15s I thought great for the moon, maybe even Jupiter maybe even Saturn, do some planetary stuff. Obviously very basic, but I thought it would just that extra magnification would really help with some deep sky objects, maybe re resolve a few of the bigger globular clusters. So I've had this now out in my backyard and now out under a dark sky for um, three nights. And I can tell you, I love them. The and I actually had a chance to compare these to some rich field refractors and some wide teleview eyepieces. And I got to tell you, the views of M8, M21, M22, M16, 17, the whole Milky Way, Andromeda. I'm not much of a visual. I'm not looked through the eyepiece a lot in big scopes. But I got to tell you, the M31, the Andromeda, through these binoculars was one of the best views I have ever had. You can just see the entire disc. North American Nebula. I've always struggled at really pulling that structure out of the Milky Way. The way these image stabilizers work, it allows me to position. Well, look, you still have to show some restraint. You can't move these around lackadaisically, but when you're holding them normal and brace yourself as best as you can, it really helps to, um, it really helps to stabilize the image, just like the product says. Jupiter, make out all of the Galilean moons, make out Saturn's ring directionally, uh, the moon. I tell you what you see on the moon because it's such a big surface and you have a chance to do some resolution with it. You can see the, I'm guessing it's the, um, the gyros in the binocular working to find the, the right uh, counter uh, motion. So there is some subtle blurring that happens before the sharpness settles in. But once the sharpness settles in, it's, it's beating anything I can do handheld with a seven by 50 set. So I just wanted to give you a little tip, little, little exposure, my Canon 15 by 50s image stabilized they're a great supplement to a night out under the stars with your imaging cameras going all night long. It's a great way to earn an Astronomical League binocular uh, observing certificate. So uh, I know they're crazy expensive, but I have thoroughly enjoyed these and uh, just wanted to give you that insight. Hope all's well. Clear skies.